Welcome to Silver Linings, your resource for silver, ray, and white wig reviews. Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Silver Linings. In today's video, I'll be talking about Isabella by Envy in the color Silver Gray. She's luscious, she's big, she's bouncy, and she's beautiful. Let's get acquainted with Isabella right here, right now. I want to thank Wig Studio One for sending me Isabella for review. If you'd like to purchase Isabella or learn more about her, head over to wigstudioone.com. I've dropped some links below there for you. Wig Studio One also offers a support group at Facebook, which is over, last time I looked, 18,000 members strong. Now let's get on with the review of Isabella. Isabella is such a fun, luxurious wig. I just love this wig. I wasn't sure that I was going to love her to begin with. I say that a lot, but a lot of times when you take that wig out of the box and you look at it, and you no, you have to get her on your own head. So she has these gorgeous, big, bouncy, wavy layers. Uh, she is considered a bob. And you know, she really does turn heads. My husband loves this wig loves this wig and I love her as well. She has that ear to ear lace front right right down to those ear tabs, to those covered ear tabs and I'm going to talk about the cap construction later on in the video but she does have that full mono top underneath so you can part her on the sides, you can part her in the middle, off center, whatever whatever you feel like. She has, she's made from what Envy calls Envy hair. And it really is Envy hair because it's part real hair, human hair, and part synthetic hair. So when you touch it, it really does feel like your own hair because there is real human hair in this wig. And of course, this color is silver gray. She comes in another color, medium gray, spicy salt and pepper gray, blended with 50% walnut brown and 50% gray. So if you want more dark in your wig, kind of a true salt and pepper, then you want to go with the medium gray. And then she, of course, comes in the light gray, which is what I'm wearing now, which may look very, very white to you. It depends upon your monitor, and I am going to have some outside photos. But a lot of times when you're filming these white wigs, the fibers in the wig bounce off the light, and it makes it look whiter or brighter than it really is. This is not white, blinding white. This is really, truly a a, um, a silvery grayish white, but not a drab gray, a really beautiful, beautiful color of gray. So the size is average, and Envy Average fits me pretty true to size. I am average to large. My head, side, my head size is average to large, and it feels very comfortable on me. I've got a little bit of It Stays right at my widow's peak and all across the front of my hairline so that the wig does not slip back. Um, her front is 10 inches long. The crown down is 9 to 10 inches long long. The sides are eight to nine inches long. From the nape down, it's seven and a quarter. So you've got some length, but it's not going to get all tangled and everything underneath that. It actually weigh, it actually wears very, very well and is very comfortable on your head. She does weigh five and three quarters. So it's important to note that Isabella by Envy does have the heat friendly fibers. Her fibers feel very much like very healthy human hair. How can I say that? Because trying to explain how something feels is, is, is almost impossible. But she feels very luxurious. Uh, she, I would say the density is She's got high density. It's This is not fine, silky hair that sticks to your head. This hair is voluminous. It is luxurious. 
And you can, because she's got those heat-friendly fibers, you can use a heat tool up to 350 degrees. You don't want to go over 350 degrees, but you do have that option if you wanted to do something a little bit different with the wave pattern. She's very soft. She doesn't tangle easily. I think I mentioned before, I had her on for a few hours the other day and there were virtually no tangles when I combed her out before I put her back in the box. This is, this is big hair. This is big hair. It's not necessarily high poofy hair. I don't feel any permatease in here, but it's big. It's not that sleek, straight, flat hair. It's big hair. So if you like big hair, you're going to love Isabella. And let's talk a little bit more about the color. The color, as I've said, in this particular one is light gray. And you can see it on the website. Light gray is a beautiful, pure, they're calling it a beautiful, pure silver gray. So what they've done somehow is they've mixed that beautiful light gray with the white. And you have to see it in person to really appreciate how beautiful it is. And um, I do know that not everyone loves this white look, but my hair is white and I'm used to the white. So if your hair is, your, is white and you're used to, to the white, initially when you start purchasing wigs that are white, because it's very hard to mimic that pure white hair, you might be taken aback a little bit, but just leave it on your head for a while. Walk around your house and then come back and look in the mirror a few times and see if you don't change your mind. That's been my personal experience with this color. But this color is truly, truly a beautiful shade of silver gray. Let's take a look at the inside of the cap for Isabella. You can see that she has all this open wefting here. It's going to keep your head very cool. She has the Velcro strap adjusters for sizing. She has the covered nape covered with felt. She has that wonderful large mono top so you can part her anywhere here in the middle on the left on the right off center just a lot of real estate to deal with there you'll notice that she has this piece of silicone right there if you don't have hair that's going to help keep it comfortable on against your skin and then she's got that beautiful ear to ear lace front Beautifully done. Well, you know that I do wear glasses, but I'll pop them on again. I try not to wear my glasses too much during a review because the reflection from the lights just blinds the viewer. But um, those glasses slip in there just beautifully. And as I mentioned before, I did not put any it stays or anything here. You can see where the stem of the glasses is right over your ear. And then there's a nice space between the stem and the wig. So that wig is not sitting on top of the stem of the glasses. She wants to flop. She wants to flop down in your face, which she could be trained, but I hadn't trained her before I did this review. I took a little decorative pin and I just placed it right there and then I kind of left the hair right over that so that there wasn't so much bulk there falling down into my face. So you could do that and you could hide that little pin or of course you could take the pin and then you could just twist her back
Thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. This was a really fun review for me to do for you all today. Bye-bye.